Let's wind up our discussion on negotiated syllabuses by discussing some of the advantages and disadvantages attached to the notion of negotiated syllabuses. So before I proceed, I would just like you to have a little thought. And what you could do, you could pause the video for a while and think about the questions here. Right. So what's the significance of negotiated syllabus? Since we have done this topic so far, the major topic of negotiated syllabuses, so what you can do, you could pause the video and think about this element here. And secondly, think about some of the advantages and disadvantages of negotiated syllabuses. Right. Okay. Right. Well, I'll start with the uh, disadvantages and briefly discuss some of the major two disadvantages of negotiating uh, syllabus with the students. Right. Uh, the first one, as it appears to be, is the lack of knowledge. Since, uh, you know, students, it's interesting, students might be uh, lacking in knowledge about, about the course, uh, so it would be, they might be a bit reluctant in the beginning to discuss uh, or negotiate the course with the teacher because they might think that the teacher is the responsible agent and the teachers know much more than themselves. So that's why they might become reluctant uh, to negotiate or discuss uh, to put their cards on the table, and uh, therefore they might there might be some difficulties since they think that the teacher is more powerful than them, so therefore they might be a bit reluctant so that's one of the disadvantages and uh, the secondly uh, it requires i mean uh, uh, adequate pedagogical skills on the behalf of the teachers as well. It's not like, you know, just going straight into the classroom. Okay, students, I'm here. Let's negotiate the syllabus. It's not like this. What happens in pedagogy is you need to have adequate skills and you, you need to be a bit clever to uh, discuss, with, to, to make sure which part of the course, of the language course are negotiable and which are non-negotiable. For example, the objectives are non-negotiable and assessment is negotiable and some of the parts of the assessment are non-negotiable. So we have to be a bit skillful here to discuss the elements of uh, the course. Right. So, and what about the advantages then? One of the advantages is, uh, you know, since it invites students to become responsible party and they could uh, be involved in different phases of doing the course. So what happens is they become more proactive. They become, they tend to become more responsive since they need, they feel that their needs are at the core of the course. So um, what, what actually helps this part of the curriculum is it not only motivates students, but also, you know, helps them become satisfied learners and uh, it enhances their commitment towards the course. So, for example, if students are doing English for specific purposes course, so the teacher could negotiate some of the parts, I mean, the elements of the course with the students and the students who are doing this course, for example, as doctors or as engineers, they could be more motivated and they could be more satisfied. And uh, uh, overall, another advantage attached to the negotiation of, uh, of syllabus with the students is it makes them, uh, you know, become aware of the goals of the course. And this is how they tend to become more autonomous learners.